things just started to fall apart. The bourbon industry just kind of. Oh, you, my sister was born. You are also like you were there. I was. Like, you know. I was. <laughs> during, yeah. during the American Revolution. <laughs> yeah. Seven now. Oh, okay, my bad. To fall apart. Hey, I'm Charlie. I'm Beth. I'm Jeff. We're gonna call him Phil and Jeff. <laughs> Phil and Jeff, I like it. Yeah, Phil and Jeff. Phil and Jeff. All right. So Bob's not with us tonight. Uh, he will be with us uh, hopefully next week. Uh, so um, right now we have uh, Jeff with us. Uh, he's a friend of ours and knows bourbon, so we figured, uh, why not? Sure. Why not? <laughs> so all right. So uh, today's uh, episode, we are going to do uh, James E. Pepper. Um, that this one here is kind of slowly uh, gaining some notoriety. Uh, it's actually. Uh, Oh man, I, I lost um, some article or something like that. They call this the uh, Blanton's killer, so we'll see. But of course, you know, in my opinion, it doesn't take much. Um, I'm Agreed. not really. Agreed. I'm not. Do you like Blanton's? I do. I like it. <clears throat> it's not my favorite, but I okay. like it. Yeah. All right. It's. I mean, no. I really want to try the um, Blanton's Gold. I'm not. I'm not, I heard it's really. It's really good. Yeah. But uh, I've had straight from the barrel. But that was really good. Yeah, but anyways, I'm not a big Blanton's fan, so it may not take much. So, anyways, uh, so we're going to do a bottle review on the James E. Pepper. Uh, this is a shelfer, by the way, uh, for those of you who are wondering. Uh, we bought it out at uh, one of our liquor stores locally in Kentucky, though. Um, I haven't seen it in Ohio. Um, but it's like a $55, $60 bottle, uh, something like that. So, if you're looking for an alternative to Blanton's, um, well, we'll see how this tasting goes first. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> Perhaps this is it. So, all right, we're gonna go in for the uh, nose. Let's see what we got here. Oh, mm. oh. got some heat on there. <laughs> we were all like, Ooh. which, by the way, while we're doing this, Beth, why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about Mr. James E. Pepper? Mr. James E. Pepper. So, around the start of the American Revolution, they came out with. There were two founding. Uh, the families came out with two founding distilleries. It was Woodford Reserve and James E. Pepper. I don't need. And they lasted till around 1967 when uh, things just started to fall apart. The bourbon industry just kind of. No, you, my sister was born. You're you know, tossing like you were there. I was. Like, you know. I was. <laughs> during, yeah. during the American Revolution. Yeah. yeah. 1967 now. Oh, things okay, started to fall apart. So both the stories closed down. Well, it's like you thought you were there. Like you're saying it so eloquently. You, you're a great storyteller. That's a compliment. Okay. All right. Carry on. Uh, so both closed down, and then in about 2008, they both reopened. Um, uh, they were in Lexington originally, and they're back in Lexington now. And then uh, the James E. Pepper one, they used some of the original building that it was in. They used a lot of the stuff that was original to the build. Um, and in December of 17, they officially opened it back up uh, in that building. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Of course, I keep on having Sergeant Pepper in my head. Yeah. Yep. Just saying. Yeah. Beatles. No. You Beatles fan? Yeah. Well, yeah, of course you are. So. <laughs> Your era. I'm not much. Not, well, I was I'm American not. Revolution era. Oh, yeah, my bad. <laughs> Betsy Ross. I was way, yeah. <laughs> Betsy got some jam going on. <laughs> Boy, can you imagine the a whiskey they would have back then? Ooh. I don't know. My my guess is it probably wasn't that good because it wasn't regulated either. Right. You would tell them what was in it. Yeah. Nose, nose has got some fire on it. Yeah, a lot of oh, it's uh, but it's, it's one up, it's one sixteen by the way. And play, there you I go. know, one hundred six, one hundred seven. Yeah, so it's kind of a sweet smell. Yeah, once you get smell. past that heat, it's like a sweet cherry. Yeah, so that's what I give for the nose. By the way, at home we are going to continue to score it. Um, and we'll see what kind of score this thing gets, but you know, and and with the uh, taste. A licorice or something. Mm -hmm. so it's, it's which is um, it's hard for me because I do not like licorice. Do not like this. I it's it's okay. <clears throat> yeah, but it's I get a lot of fennel, um, star anise. So, that's okay. Anise. Okay. <laughs> oh, what I get that's gonna that's get a little fentanyl. Yeah, a little fentanyl. <laughs> <laughs> See you in a couple days. <laughs> a little coke, a little fentanyl. 
Um, I'm not sure. I don't know. Hold on. <clears throat> Pick up some, some of that heat from yeah, the, yeah, from the nose. Yeah, I'm not. A, I'm not. A, and that's just because of that licorice taste. It's got a lot of heat though. Ooh. Mm. I really like the nose. <laughs> yeah, the, the flavor. It was not bad. It's just different. I don't know. And I, oh man, I hate saying this. I don't think this is a Blanton's color. I don't. I don't either. And I'm uh, not a huge Blanton. And I don't like Blanton's. Um. Well, it's gonna be a nice decanter. <laughs> That'll be the. Uh, but this is why we try these things out, so you guys don't have to. And we're not saying it's horrible. Believe me, we've had some horrible ones. Oh, by the way, this is the guy who brought in the two <laughs> horrible ones that we talked about. So Jeff, my friend, he bought, oh my God, it was horrible. Uh, Jeff Creed, and that was horrible. That was horrible. <laughs> and what's bad about it, they're not watching. What's bad about it is you were on a Zoom call, right? Yes, I was. With the distiller? With Yeah, with the master's. Oh. Uh, yeah. We had a uh, a sampling. They sent us four different samples in like a little two-ounce bottles. Right. And we did a live stream with it. and. And no I mean, one said anything on live stream. I mean, no, because it was what we had was great. What was what was the problem? Well, I know what the problem. Was. The problem was it, that those <laughs> bottles was. those bottles weren't on the market yet. They should okay, have. Wow. So when I got excited thinking this was some good well, stuff, you, you brought, brought two bottles. Think you're going to win? Yeah, exactly. You came in dead at last. Yeah, yeah. No, Phil, I did last time. Remember, I brought Jefferson's last stuff. It was <laughs> not good. But that wasn't as bad as that. Uh, that no, no, that jumped that the taste. That smelled like dirty dish. You had me try it in here. Just I did as a joke. <laughs> It's unfortunate you guys will ever see it because uh, Charlie once again put it in slow mo. So I, I act, there's a slow mo button right next to the on and off button, and it's just I hit it every now and then, and I've ruined so many videos that way. What was the other one? Green River? That's yeah, one? Green yeah. River was horrible. So uh, both of them. Well, that's a serial killer. So there you go. <laughs> well, both of them were provided by Jeff. So he said, "Have you came close to any of our tastings as far as votes?" Yeah, I did. I had Holiday last time. Oh, Ben Holiday, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think I came in third on that one. Speaking of, you should be here in a little bit. All right. I wonder. Yeah. We have a friend named Bill Holloway. Ben oh. Holloway. You don't know. Just, yeah. Holiday. Whatever. I don't mess it up. <laughs> My dog's <laughs> named Holiday. That's what it is. But we have Ben Holloway yes. that we work with. I'm not sure he appreciates us doing that right there, but no. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. I, I just, well, I guess I. Addresses. I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go to the scores. Uh, cool. Give us a quick second and we'll be right back with the scores. We'll be right back. All right. We are back with our scores. Um, all right. Ooh. Here's. We're very close. I just looked at Cheater. This. How's that cheating? Don't look over your shoulder. Just score your own test. It, we've already scored our tests. Sir. Yeah, you are. You are right. <laughs> all right. Our guest, Jeff, you know what? You'll be first. Let's go right. with uh, your score. What you got? Well, I, uh, I scored it a 64.5. Okay. It it like I said it was it was good but it just wasn't there. So you wouldn't buy this? I will, would not. Not not for fifty five dollars a bottle. Oh, twenty, thirty, thirty, maybe thirty. Okay, but not for fifty five. I Beth, what you got? Uh, I wouldn't buy it because <laughs> I don't like licorice and there is a lot of a star anise in there and yeah. I don't care for that. I gave it a total of sixty six, so I was a little bit okay. nicer than Jeff. <laughs> okay, well I gave it a sixty seven. So we're all in the 60s. We all agree. Yeah. You know, good for, good for Jeff. Well, to be honest, Jeff has done this before off camera at our tasting. He's been through uh, three or four, three, four of our tastings. So yeah. you understand our scoring system. So yeah. you, you know, you kind of get what we're shooting for. But um, I think between the three of us is unanimous uh, as, an, as a not buy. I'm not sure why they're calling us a blatant killer. Man, I actually like Blaine's over this. Mm -hmm. And I don't like Blaine's. Yeah. I mean, Blaine's okay. It's in the 70s for me. Yeah. It's just, you know, nothing spectacular like everybody makes it up to be. But this, to me, is not a blank killer. It's going to set on my, uh, it might be an infinity bottle one day. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, it was good. So, all right. Well, that does it for this segment. We are going to talk about sports. Stay tuned. Bob's not here. So, we get to do a category that we were never going to cover otherwise. So, uh, Bob, stay tuned, though. Anyways, <laughs> uh, we are going to cover our top five movie sports movies of all time. So, stay tuned. All right? Hey. Okay. Bye. All right, we're back uh, onto the sports, but we're going to do something different because sports are kind of a little um, quiet right now. FC Cincinnati, by the way, 
Uh, they won against Chicago their night. They're looking okay. They got five new players. Uh, I know there's some people who want, want us to talk about FC, and we will. We'll get back to our regular schedule program, uh, I think, when Bob gets back. Um, but since Jeff is here, and I know Jeff has, uh, um, uh, you got some favorites out there as far as movies. Yeah. So I figured this would be a good time to talk about that. Um, and before we do that, real quick, here's what we're drinking. We got rid of the Jamesy Pepper, by the way. Uh, it wasn't very good. So we are going to try, or they are, I've already tried this. You can see the bottle halfway gone. A Nashville <laughs> Barrel. Um, it is a, a straight bourbon whiskey, six years cast strength. Okay, and it comes in at 123 proof. I got this from uh, Fred Minnick. Uh, I joined his uh, Patreon, um, and this is his number four out of top 100 uh, whiskey of the year. And he does it blindly. Wow. Uh, and this one, number four. And you can get it on Sealbox, by the way, which I highly recommend. Or you can get it down at Party Source here. Uh, locally, uh, it runs about seventy-five, eighty dollars a bottle, so a little on the high end, but oof, it's so good. So, anyways, uh, as we do that, we're gonna taste this. I and, like the smell, oh really? Oh, yeah. And then it's very good. My. So we will talk about our top five <laughs> sports movie. Uh, Jeff, what's what's uh, what's your number five? Let's talk about that. Uh, my number five, I've got uh, an old movie, kind of I guess uh, showing my age is uh, Brian's song. Oh yeah, yeah. It was a uh, Chicago Bear. Yep, Piccolo. Lynn's Piccolo, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's yep. very good. Yeah, man, I used to show these show Brian's song to a, a group of young juvenile boys, and they would they would ask my God, they would sit there cry. Oh yeah, at the yeah, end. It was a great it was a great story. Yep, real story. So it's not right. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, Beth, what you got? Hoosiers. Oh damn it! I forgot that. Mm. No, I'm here to help. Okay. Oh, I love a good basketball movie. Mm. Very good. Gene Hackman. Yep. Yeah. Dennis Hopper. Yes. Yep. Very good. And, um, oh, what's her name? Barbara? Hershey? Yes. Good job. Oh, wow. Yeah, movie trivia over here. Well, <laughs> you do run once. I am the trivia queen. Yes. Which, by the way, a uh, little plug here. There's trivia every Thursday at uh, New Ales. Come down and see us in Milltown. Yep. 1330 Manchester. All right. Well, that's our little Hostess plug. with the mostess. There you go. Uh, my number five is Bull Durham. And I should have grouped them all in one thing, but you know where I'm going with it. Yeah. But Bull Durham is my favorite. So, uh, Jeff, what you got? My number four, I have Rudy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Rudy's great. Yep. The best part of that uh, movie is, to me, is when they put all their jerseys, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that was great. To get him, get him on the field. That was very good. Yes, it was. You saw Rudy, right? I did. Okay. All right. Very good. And I actually have Rudy as my number four. Oh, nice! But I could I could throw in "Remember the Titans." Oh, oh damn it! Was that one? It's another one I forgot. Okay, well you forgot it, so I didn't take your spot. Oh, man, no, it's just it was a great movie. God. Denzel Washington, correct? Is that, mm -hmm. is that yes? Yep, great yep. movie. Favorite scene out of that when we're at the bus. But yes, the, Dean Martin and uh, and he calls him Dean Martin. Yeah, <laughs> Terry Lewis. That was great. That was great. Uh, I'm a big Kevin Costner fan, so for love of the game. Uh, I was number four. I really liked that one. I know a lot of people didn't. For the love of myself. He's <laughs> <laughs> so all about like, Kevin Costner. Yeah. I, I, well, I like it. I'm by, I'm all yeah, in that's on okay. it. That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. He throws a no-hitter. Um, God rest her soul. Kelly uh, Preston. Yeah. Um, she was in it. So, very good movie. All right. Um, you kind of stole my thunder a little bit. My, my number three was Remember the Titans. Oh, okay. okay. Um, right. And I couldn't replace that with my number two because I had Hoosiers. Watch a movie together, it sounds like. Oh, it's movie day. <laughs> All right. Uh, I am anti Kevin Costner, but Field of Dreams is my number three. All right. My number three is uh, Moneyball. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I love good. Money Brad Pitt. Mm, very good. I love it with uh, Jonah Hill. I read the book. Oh, yes, that's right. I read the book. That's astounding. astounding. I read the book, then I watched the movie. Okay. So. All right. Uh, All right. Your number two, we already said. Uh, yeah, my number two was Hoosiers. Okay. Uh, Gene Hackman. Great. Damn, I forgot that movie on top five. Yeah. I watched that the other day. It's such so a good movie. It's a great Saturday afternoon movie. Yeah. Yeah. It's yep. it raining or some yep. shit. Yep. Yep. All right. Beth, what you got? The Natural. Mm, I Watching thought about times. that. I just thought it played slow at the beginning. Yes. Well, that's fine. Remind me again that blood that he, did he get shot or something? Yeah. Is that what it was? Yes. Uh, from the injury? Yes. Yep. All right. Hmm. But never healed. Kind of like you know who they call the natural in baseball? And he's no longer playing anymore with Josh Hamilton. Oh, yep. Yeah, remember him? Yeah. 
Yep. The one round pick. He was. He I, got to, was I got to go to his fortune mm-hmm. game as a red. Really? Yeah. Boy, he had his, his own. De- he had his own demons. Yeah. Oh, with yeah. drugs and everything else, but he was a pure baseball player. He was. Oh. He was. You know, I don't know why I remember that, but they used to call him the natural. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Uh, Rudy was my number two. So. Okay. Right. And I think we're gonna start getting some repeats here. Um. Yeah. I. Um. One. My number one was Field of Dreams. Okay. Yeah. My number one, and I will make a confession. It's the only movie that's ever made me cry. And Lassie. Like, nope. Sixty one. <laughs> 60. 60. Oh, you have said that before. Yep. 61. It is the story of Roger Maris and Mickey Mantle breaking him mm. breaking Roger Maris's or uh, him breaking Mickey Mantle's record and the backlash and hate and vitriol that he got from the Yankee fans mm. and it was mm. just absolutely saddening and uh but um you know the, his family was amazing and even later on when uh uh, who was it that broke it? Mark McGuire? No. Um, yeah, wasn't it? No. Oh, I, Sammy Sosa. No. 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 Uh, no. Barry Bonds. You sure it wasn't McGuire? Because then he had a relationship with it, the Maris. Family. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. And they they gave him. He went over to the Maris family. Yeah, I remember that back, because yeah, he was very born. selfless. Right. And after the home run, he went straight to. Yeah, the, and it was uh, the this is how they should have been treated. Yeah. All those years ago, but because yeah. Mickey Mantle was Mickey Mantle, right? Um, he didn't get the accolades that he deserved. So, but okay. it was it's a, it's a great movie if you haven't watched it. I'm not. I haven't even heard it. Oh, I never watched it. It's on uh, HBO. I, think. I don't know. I, I okay. used to have a DVD of it. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. All right, and then my number one is same as yours. It filled with dreams, which actually is a great segue, by the way. Uh, our opening day um, programming in about a month, uh, whenever that is, beginning of April, we'll have an opening day special yep. uh, uh, bourbon and balls. We are going to review the Field of Dreams bourbon. Yeah. They take the corn right. and make it and turn it into the <laughs> whiskey that, or the bourbon that they have. So odds are it's going to be garbage, but <laughs> we're going to review it anyways on opening day. I think it would be something special. That's the way to do it. I've heard mixed reviews on it. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, my, not guess, had it. I've not had it. But my I'm guess is going to be garbage. I mean, anything that's celebrity like that is just <laughs> yeah. it's just rushed to market, and that's like when people buy Elvis, yeah, bourbon, yeah, wine, tequila, bourbon, just. Which, by the way, I would slap their name on there. Just oh to, yeah, and it's just I went on um, uh, Breaking Bourbon. Mm-hmm. They do all those bottle reviews, so you can rank them best to last. Did Trevor like get smashed? So I looked at the last place. <laughs> I think in the bottom to the last, and mind you, they have like. Uh, reviewed thousands. Elvis is down there. And it's like the bottom two, bottom three. Wow. Or is this one of the worst bourbons ever to try? <laughs> so, what do you guys think about saying the Traveler too? It I didn't care oh, for the Traveler. Care for it. You have it? Yeah, I've had it. Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah, not really. I, mean, I, didn't get I would compare that to Blanton's, quite frankly. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a meh. Yeah, yeah, it's a meh. Yeah, I mean, it's one it of those the job done, but. It was one of those because of it's a blend of Canadian bourbon or whiskey or whatever. It's just it just had a you couldn't place the smell yeah. and the, the taste. Yeah. You just couldn't. It just, <clears throat> and I don't know if Chris Stapleton is really, and I'm not taking so, anything from him. right. So how's he going in there and tasting the mashes to see which right. one is? And then why isn't Jack Daniels picking him up on it? Because yeah. damn song is Tennessee whiskey. So yeah. the yeah. whole thing is just off the wall. Yeah. It is. What do you think about the bourbon? Uh, very good. Yeah, very I good. get peanut butter waffle by the way. Yeah. I can definitely see both of those. I, yeah. So I'm going to tell you something on this. So something I learned on the Zoom call, I was with, with the master distiller from uh, National Barrel. So it's an MGP, okay? However, he cannot disclose what the mas- what um, bourbon is from because they, they also um, let it set over a certain warehouse. And you kind of figure it out. And he said, you can just Google it and find it out <laughs> as far as the uh, mass bill. And it's basically Elijah Craig barrel, barrel fruit. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's what it is. Wow. So for those who cannot find Elijah Craig barrel proof, this is a shelfer. Go get it. I'm telling you, is that good? Uh, look at so now that I say it, you're going to think about it. But it's like peanut butter waffle. Yeah. That's yeah. really good. It is really, really good. It's very underrated. I, I can see why you've gone through Yeah. that in two days. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> no, I did not. It's been a week. Yes. Oh, sorry. You know, it's funny. I went to the doctor's the other day for like a checkup, and then you know they ask Blood you this question. Like, no, they ask you as far as do you smoke, blah blah blah. And I, first of all, Erica went with me because she doesn't trust me of what the doctor tell me and what I relate to her. <laughs> she learned that in the past, and I swear to God, I told them I was fine. 
and she didn't believe me, so I had to go for another one. So anyways, we're sitting in there, and she, she's, the doctor's like, um, you know, what do you drink? <laughs> and I said, no. And she's like, well, no, you got your own damn show. <laughs> I'm like, well, that's for the show. But outside of that, I, 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 I whatever. It's a social occasion. Yeah, it is social. So, because I only drink <laughs> at trivia, it doesn't count. So I can say no. And yeah. here. Wait, you so only it's like when West did that dry January. <laughs> <laughs> only if. Yeah, only if on certain days and all that kind of stuff. But. I didn't even try. All right. Well, you know what? Let us know what your guys' favorite top five movies are all time. Um, I think that's the only time we're going to be able to do this, uh, which is fine. And I'm, I'm just teasing Bob. Uh, we do wish uh, Bob well, and he'll be back with us next week. Uh, we do miss him over here. And um, Phil and Jeff, you did, you did a really good job. Well, thank you. So now we're on to our live stream, which you've already seen it by the time you saw this video. So we'll see how bad we messed that one up. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Until next time, I'm Charlie. I'm Beth. I'm Jeff. All right. We'll see you. Bye. Bye.